Hi, this is Yash here and I work on Sparkle. And this is a quick overview on how Sparkle organizes your files and how you can customize it to fit your workflow. You can add any folder to Sparkle by clicking this button right here. And once you add a folder, Sparkle takes care of the rest. So Sparkle creates three folders for you, the manual library, the AI library, and recents. So if you already had a folder set up, Sparkle won't touch those folders. They go directly to your manual library. And if you want something back at the top, you can just drag it back again and Sparkle will remember not to touch it again. All the new files go to the recents folder and they stay there for three days before we move to the AI library. You can change this number later in your settings. Now coming to the AI library, Sparkle looks at your file name and file types and comes up with a folder structure that actually makes sense. So all your images go to the images folder, all your videos go to your videos folder and so on. Any file that gets moved gets logged and you can click on any of these logs to open it up directly in Finder. Sparkle also comes with a menu bar app so you can fill it up whenever you need it. You can customize a lot of these things in settings, for example, how often you would like Sparkle to check for new files, and also what time you would like this check to happen at. You can also define what recents mean to you. In my case, I've set it up to one day. So any file that's created less than a day ago stays in recents, and all of the files move to the AI library. We've got a lot of new features on the way, and we love your feedback. So if you've got a question or an idea, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are a very small team, and we need every single email. Thanks for watching, and welcome to Sparkle.